Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And you're watching a Noob to Pro video using the new Ghost Food. But before starting, sure your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Where the actor slam on oh, the dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Hi, guys. Say hi to the new fruit, the Ghost Fruit. So, guys, are you ready to grind this one? If you're ready. Let's go. First up, we got the Shivering Possession. So this is the first skill. There you go, guys. For me, this skill is a really good. Why? Two things. This is multi-target and there is no too little knockback effect. Also, if you notice, there is a nice effect every after hit and an explosion. So there are two phases of damage. There you go. Every time you use your Z skill Shivering Possession. As you can see guys, we will be reaching level 15 here, not level 5 or level 10. There go, and after that, let me show you our stats first. There you go, 10 melee and put all your stats on the blocks fruits. Next up guys, the fountain city. Yes, we are going to do fountain strat here. Last time we did not use this one because we have two times boost. <laughs> now we don't have one. Okay, so again, use your shivering possession. Guys, you can dodge it easily by just moving. And once he unleashes his aerial attack, just dodge to the side. Okay, so again, use your left clicks. Wait for your shivering possession to pull down and that's it. Okay, there you go. We were able to dodge it. And just keep on repeating it. Also guys, there's a cool thing about this fruit. It has a passive skill and this will be activated once you reach critical HP or I think uh, you get burst. Check this out guys, we will get hit, right? Boom! See that guys? We should have died with that slash bot, we're still alive, beware you're on your last life and we will still have half HP and take note, it will regenerate, okay? Which means if even though you make a mistake here using your Z skill, you won't still die, okay? Okay, but just once. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna keep on grinding here. There you go, until we reach level 60 and we will be unlocking our X skill here, the Spectral Release. So again, this skill is really good, multi-target and there is no to minimal knockback. Okay, so we're just gonna grind here until level 60 and after that, we're gonna unlock our Wandering Soul. Check this out, here are stats, 20 mil defense, 140 blocks fruits. Again, Wandering Soul is a fly skill. There is no damage when using this one. But this, this one's a lot better compared to the previous F skill of the Revive Fruit. So next up, the Desert. First one is the Desert Bandits. Check this out guys, 1Z and X skill. Damage is more than half of its HP, which means you only need two sets of your Z and X skill to defeat this mob. So far, everything looks good. Remember, the Revive Fruit has a skill, right? The final skill. And now it is, it is just a passive skill. Anyway, we're gonna grind here until level 75. Okay, once you reach level 75, we are moving to our next target, and that is the Desert Officers. Just located at the other side of this island. There you go, same strategy. Good thing there is a minimal to no knockbacks when using the skill, which makes it better for grinding. You don't need to lure again, okay? Okay, level 90, we're leaving this area. Here are the stats. Mill defense 30 and blast fruits 210. Next island is the frozen village. Don't forget to buy everything the ability picture sells. He's located at the cave. There you go, air jump 10k, aura 25k. There you go, and 100,000 for flash step. So we lock 3,000. But check it out Acre's chest. This is part of the update now, Halloween update. So, guys, you get money aside from that. There's an enemy that will spawn, it will give you bones, and you can defeat it for extra bones. So is it hard to defeat, guys? Uh, the enemy that will spawn will depend on your level. Okay, so we got 8, 8, and 7. Not bad, right? Not bad. So now we can buy the flash step. Thank you for the chest. <laughs> okay, 100,000 bellies. There you go. For the grinding part, we are going to defeat the snow bandits here. So same strategy, guys. Easy, X and Z skill, spam skills. <laughs> Actually, you can use your combat, but yeah, this video is for Ghost Fruit, so we're just gonna focus on the skills. There you go, guys. Level 105, we will change our target. We will change to the boss in this island, Yeti. 
Okay, so guys, my technique here, yeah, aside from spamming skills, I'm gonna use my F skill to lure him on using his skills. I'm gonna show it to you there. Don't worry. Just like that, guys. There you go. Just keep passing him and he will use his skill. And you can now use your skills. So you don't you don't need to like get scared of him using his skills. Make him use it, right? Okay, one more thing. We will be unlocking our C skill here, the Christ of the Underworld. So guys, I think this is a skill that every time you use it, they will like be partially blinded. Oh, another chest. Okay. Also guys, when you defeat this boss, I mean this this uh, mob from the chest, you can get 2 times experience. Anyways, here is the Christ of the Underworld, Master 100, not that one, this one guys. There you go. After that guys, check the aura around the enemy, there you go. There's still some aura, I think that is like the blind effect, some mild blind effect. <laughs> If I'm wrong, please correct me guys. So for the stats, here it is. 14 mil defense, blocks plus 313. Next up, Marine Fortress. And again, head to this tower to buy the Dark Cape. Or Black Cape. Uh, it's Black Cape for 50,000 bellies. Wow, another cursed chest. So guys, every time you see one, make sure to defeat it. Because there's a high chance that you will get uh, bonuses like 2 times experience. And in our case, yes, we got one. But we were not able to record it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, 130. Target is Vice Admiral. We're gonna do this until level 220. Yep, 220, that's kinda high, but this is the best way to grind. I'm telling you guys, even though you have flight like the Wandering Soul, it's really hard to grind at the Skylands. Because again, the quest giver is far away, and the mobs, yeah, they, they're kinda far, far away too. Uh, anyways, here you go. As you can see, it's easy to defeat and with the proper stats, you can tank his damage. Actually guys, we can defeat this without getting hit but yeah, our timing is off during this fight. <laughs> also guys, we will be unlocking our final skill here in this area, the Ghostbusters. Okay. Gamer Nom, uh, what is the requirement for the Ghostbusters? You need 150 Master in order to unlock it. And we will be staying here until 220. So yeah, there you go, guys. Ghostbusters. You can sum you will be summoning two, and every time you use a the skill, they will also do it. So yeah, it's really good, guys. Okay, so but but the problem here is when fighting mobs that has like bosses and your levels kinda near, they can easily burst those mobs or those ghostbusters. Which means when fighting a boss, I suggest make sure to use your skills the moment you spawn them. Oh, and make sure that you hit them, okay? So there you go, guys. This is good. I think this one's really good. Same with the love fruit, right? Remember the best of friendo. Anyway, uh, what's better? This Ghostbuster or best of friendo? Comment it in the comment section for the stats. 125 mil defense, blocks with 410, and check it out. Another chest. More bones. Actually, you can spin random surprises for two times experience. That will make things faster. Anyways, easy kill. Next up, guys, the prison. So, guys, in the prison, we have three bosses. We're gonna do server hop here, okay? That's why we went here at 220 because we already have the warden. So, guys, check it out. He easily defeated our ghost busters. As long as we use our skills, when they're, uh, like, summoned, everything will be worth it, okay? So, guys, what we'll be do here is we will be defeating every boss once to make things faster. Guys, we're gonna do server hop here. Also, you can do wall strat, but this fruit is too good for you to be doing wall strat, okay? So again, I will be showing you how to defeat every boss here, and then we'll move on to the next island. Okay, at 2 times speed. Go next up, the Warden. Oh, Chief Warden, sorry. Actually, it's already damaged. <laughs> so what I do here is I damage them at the same time, Warden, Chief Warden. Because if you ever damage them at the same time, most likely, Chief Warden has higher HP, so the Warden will die first, right? Make sure to get the Warden quest after that. Before killing the Chief Warden, get the Chief Warden quest first. Okay, so at 240, you can now start defeating the Swan. Again, reminder, for the Warden, 220, the Chief Warden, 230, and the Swan, 240. Okay, here are the stats. And don't worry, I'll show you it to you later. Guys, take note, we're gonna grind here until level 350, okay? Yes, we skip lots of islands. Let me enumerate the islands. Hmm, 
first one is the jungle, right? Next up, Pirate Village. The lower ground or the lower sky, right? Next, the Coliseum. Yeah, we skip that one too. And lots of mobs including the first two mobs of the Magma Village. Yes, that's why 350, we're gonna stay here until 350. And after that, we're gonna go for the Magma Admiral. Okay? Why Magma Admiral Gamer Realm? Again, for the HP and it's near the Quest Giver. Also, it's really easy to server hop here in the first sea. So here are the stats. Melee Defense, 250. Block Fruits, 550. Next island is the Magma Village. There you go. So here, just like I told you, we we're gonna we we're gonna focus on the Magma Admiral. Oh, there's no Magma Admiral, but there is a Cursed Chest again. There you go. We're gonna defeat this one. Okay, and hopefully we get a boost. Okay, there you go, guys. 10 minutes of 2 times experience, so we're gonna make things fast. Also, I'm gonna just show you how to defeat this once. Guys, actually, it's really easy since you have Ghostbusters. There's a high chance that this boss will be attacking those uh, bastards, the Ghostbusters first, before you. So you don't need to dodge much. But make sure to spawn them every time it cools down, okay? Oh, we got hit there. <laughs> Anyways, Gamer Nob, what is our target level? 425 here, okay? 425. Also, I'm planning to reach max level using this fruit, but we're gonna unlock the gold V4, right? To make it more spooky. Anyways, level 425, there you go. Oh, 424, one more, there you go, 425. After that, let's check our stats first. There you go, 250 mil defense, block foot 775, 775. And before we move on to our, to our next island, let's head to the Skylands first, to this castle, and let's buy the Tomo Ring. Okay, so this one increases your fruit damage for 500,000 bellies. Not bad. Okay, so now we're heading to the Whirlpool and under it is the Underwater City. And for our target, we got the Fishman Lord. So just like you guys, this Fishman Lord has two sets of HP. Yes, you can do Wall Strat here. But again guys, uh, don't you enjoy using your V skill, watching them attack your enemy while you're using your skills? Now for me, it's really great. So yeah, just focus on defeating them face to face. Oh. <laughs> Ghostbusters died. There you go. Yeah, I really enjoyed using this fruit. Same with the love fruit. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking of reaching max level using this one. Plus giving it a twist like, for example, getting the race gold V4, something like that. Anyways, again, we're gonna reach level 500 here, guys. Yes, level 500. Why is it? Because that is the requirement for our next boss. Yes. First C is a boss... Uh, I don't call this. Wait, I'm gonna show you the stats first. There you go. 275 mil defense, block fruits, 950. Anyways, first C is a server hop boss C. So, in order to grind fast, you need to do server hop. Anyways, next up, Skylands target here is the boss, Whisper. But guys, we don't only skip mobs here. We also skip mobs that are bosses. Like for example, the Thunder God, he's so far away. Anyways, I'm gonna defeat this face to face. Guys, of all the bosses, this one is the highest chance to like defeat me or burst me because of the high damage of its cannon. But yes, we have our passive skill, which prevents us from dying immediately. Also, this one, this fruit is kinda mobile, so yeah. Easy to dodge his cannon. Anyways, again, we're gonna defeat this fast. And then, server hop. Again, this, boss only. Thunder God is really far away. And our target level is 625. Game Renom, the requirement... Oh, someone's attacking us. We need to run. We're not here to fight. <laughs> Anyways, Game Renom, uh, there's a boss here, Cyborg. So guys, it really depends on you. If you want to get his accessory, but I don't suggest fighting him. Why? Guys, he's so tanky. Anyways, here are the stats. 300 mil defense, all in the boss fruits. Let's not forget to buy the Observation Hockey, because this one... Is really useful especially when we are going to the second sea anyways observation hockey next island the fountain city actually this is the final island in the first sea our target is the galley pirate so guys technique this lower four use your observation hockey and then use all your skills there you go as you can see guys make sure to lure them properly so you can hit them hit all four with your skills okay there you go easy 
So at first, I was having a hard time because there's minimal knockback, okay? So as you can see here, guys, we're gonna defeat uh, just three of them. Oh, yeah, three of them. So we needed to like wait for the other skill to hold down just to defeat all four, okay? Also, one good thing about this fruit is when your V skill gets stronger, or I mean you get stronger, this Ghostbusters can defeat the mobs on their own. Check that out, guys. See that? <laughs> Anyways, I think that's it, guys. Again, I told you we're not gonna defeat the cyborg here because he's too tanky. Also, we're gonna dodge or skip the galley captains because they're so far away, okay? So, I think that's it. That's level 700. Here are the stats. Final stats for this level. 300 mil defense. And yes, I made a mistake for on the gun. Don't mind that, guys. Just put it on the blocks fruits. Okay, so again, I will decide if I will like reach max level with this fruit. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, enjoy this Halloween update. Again, this is Gamer Nom. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.